Hey guys, Bish me back again with another video. Get it, bow, you know the vibes, and we are back again with another battle. UPBA week four, I believe. Now, my opponent got Ladias, Rotom Wash, Weavile, Thunderous Clef, and Volk. Now, I think my best lead will have to be the Scarf Rotom because it should be faster than anything. Um, if he does lead Lando, I could probably just go for a overheat. I should get great damage off on anything. Um, and we'll see how this battle goes. I mean. He does have the Sheer Force, Landorus, Incarnate. I'm not sure how much Rotom would take from a freaking Rock Slide, which probably would kill it. But, I mean, maybe Overheat is great damage on it. You know, we got some good answers to what he has. And I'd, I'd rather take the damage on Lando if I could get the chance to. So, good luck, have fun to its whatever. And let's see what the lead is. Latias. Alright, so I'm gonna just straight up go for Volt Switch. Cause um Yeah. Cause why am I staying in on this? And then if they uh if they switch to Lando, I mean whatever bro. I get to like see something from the set. They probably just go straight into Lando though. That's what I would do. Overheat would have done some damage. They could also go Rotom Wash. I mean, like, they're probably looking at me like, what am I going to do? Like, I'm definitely going to switch out. I guess over here was the play, huh? Let's see what they do. If they, uh... Okay, so that thing is Scarf. Hey, yo. I took mad damage just now. So they're Scarfed into Psychic. That's some great information. Oh, we got a crit. Crit Volt Switch did about 25%. The scarf into that. I think I might just want to go over blue and click sucker punch, right? Um, yeah, let's just do that. I mean, I could also U turn, but in the case that they just decide to click psychic again, we get to just U turn. And then, like, I could literally just play around with anything that they do. Um,. Like, if they just switch out, I mean, I could just switch out too, you know? Because I know this thing is Scarf. They can never beat Reboot. I mean, Reboot probably doesn't Oko it with a, with a Sucker Punch, but... Uh, it does 50, 65 to 77, which is our damage. Now, if this thing is Scarf, we're going to be in a Pickle, but I'm going to just go for a U-turn on it. Okay, so it's not Scarf. And that it's pro oh that's not even defensive. So he probably went for Volt Switch or Hydro Pump. I think for both of those options, Cryogonal is fine. For wash Volt Switch. Yeah. It did like 13. Oh, so it's not even like Whoa. Definitely not Scarf. Probably Leftovers, if I had to take a guess for that. Um, not sure who he brings in to counter my Cryogonal. Landorus is slower, anyways. Let me see, Lando. He brings in Weavile, probably Knock Off. Knock Off, Brick Break, Swords Dance. Um, how much damage am I doing to this? How much damage is it doing back to me? Like, knock off, knock off kills. Knock, knock off does kill this thing. Uh, I'm gonna just go in a vape. Alright, so you stayed in. Stayed in, probably just went for the knock. SD, knock off, okay. I still did mad damage. I mean, we are wish, so, uh, should I just wish here? I mean, I, I do want to flip turn too, but this thing is going to take too much damage. He probably goes into Rotom though, so I'm going to just flip. I'm going to just flip turn. Because Rotom... Oh, Klefki, okay. So that's a free... um. That's a free reboot, actually. I just got to see. 
like Clef Key, right? Clef Key, like who's better? Reboot kills it with the Flare Blitz. Um, I might want a high jump kick though. I think I might HJK into it. Yeah, I might HJK. Because if he goes uh, Rotom, I'll get great damage off anyways. And hopefully, hopefully um, this guy doesn't miss. Because what is, what is this thing actually going to do to me? Let's go high jump kick. High jump kick is a two hit KO. Can't really touch me back. If they go into Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash. Oh, Thunder Wave. Oh, D. Weave. <laughs> Weave. That's some great damage. I'm actually... I actually want to go for a Sucker Punch now. <laughs> so that they can't prankster me. I'm going to just go for a Sucker Punch. That's actually mad lucky. I'm nervous. Like, what if they just click Thunder Wave again? Like, what if they just... You know what? If I get the Peril on the reboot, I'm going to be clutch. And, like, my reboot getting paired is actually kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. I think they stayed in. Oh, I don't change types if it doesn't hit. Okay. I thought I would have changed type. Okay. Well, at least I know how that interaction works now, huh? Dang. Um, I'm gonna just flare blitz. Dang, that that really sucks though. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get off. I thought I was gonna make a big brain play, bro. I mean, I'm still a fire type, right? Wait, super effective on what? Oh, on the, on the um, on the fighting. This should just kill. Yeah, that killed. Okay. Dang, I got a paralyzed reboot though. For what? And now. Dang, Rabu is actually really good in the matchup. That sucks. I thought I was going to be a dark type. I thought I made the play. I thought I made the play. I really did think. Alright, what do they do? I mean... The only thing Rabu is good for now is Sucker Punch and... Uh, Sucker Punch... Probably isn't going to do that much to anything. Like, I'd literally have to keep this thing in the back for, like, a late game clean if I if I wanted to. But they could honestly just go into Rotom, click Volt Switch here. Um, also, with Klefki gone, they don't really have a good way to deal with Karagano. If they bring a Weavile, I'll probably just go for a knockoff. And I think that it's okay if I let this thing die. Like, let me look at their team. I mean, Sucker Punch was great for Latias too, for that Scarf Lati. Because the only thing that could really handle it is Kragnor or this other thing. Damn, bro. Do I let somebody get knocked off? I think I could switch in cart. To save the 34 paralyzed, the 34 HP paralyzed reboot just to click Sucker Punch on things. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah, this is a throw, for real, for real. Uh, cause I lose my scarf. Nah, I'm gonna need my scarf. You know what? Whatever. I'm gonna go Vaporeon. I'm gonna go Vaporeon. <sighs> Damn, bro. Knock off. Think. All right. Now I'm gonna click wish. Now Vaporeon gets to get healed though, which is fine. Oh, actually, my my light isn't on. All right. Vaporeon gets to get healed, um, guaranteed. And maybe I get to heal up something else. I don't know. He brings in Rotom. I'm gonna just click protect. I believe Rotom is lefty. Yeah, Rotom is lefties. I'm gonna just protect on a Volt Switch. Protect. 
protect on the volt switch and then i could just go Karagno, and i'm not sure what they have to do with Karagno on the next turn because i mean this rotom seems to be the only way to deal with vaporeon um like i said they don't really have a good way to deal with Karagno after letting that klefki die and if anything i could wish up reboot to get some more health and then if i get paired on one circuit punch i probably click it the next time like i said reboot can counter latios pretty well if it's at good percent um especially if it locks itself into like i don't know psychic with um with a violite and i'm pretty sure i have good spadef on reboot if i'm not mistaken yeah i have like 28 spadef i didn't even see what move they clicked but i'm um, like nine times out of ten they click both switches now um And then I mean, I could even I could even go no even on the Vol switch, right? Because that invites Weavile, and then I could just go into Vaporeon again on the Weavile, and then flip turn, and then get the momentum that way. So I'm gonna assume that's the cycle that happens. No even should be fine. I have a hundred Spadef Vol switch. Okay, yeah, that's that's all right. That's what fifty, so it should be able to take two more. He, has, he definitely have to go into something faster. Maybe he even brings in Latias. Um, to threaten the Draco. If they bring in Latias though, do I generate momentum that way? Like I said, I hope to see, I hope to just see Weavile here. Because Weavile is, uh, what, base 20, 125? Noivern is base 123. So Weavile would be faster if it's Jolly. Uh, Weavile also has access to things like Ice Shard. So they could just bring in... Oh, they brought in Latias to Scarf Lottie. Okay. Now they could probably just drop a Draco. Um, I guess my best bet is Cryogonal here. Cryogonal on the Latias. Now... We dodged a Draco, which is great. Um, Draco would have done 41 to 49, which would have hurt a lot. Now, freeze-dry switch-ins, probably... Uh, probably Weavile. Um, I'm going to just go for the freeze-dry anyways, though. I mean, I could just go for Flash Cannon, though, right? Catch a switch. Let's go for Flash Cannon. Let's go for Flash Cannon. Weavile, okay. Hopefully this goes. Flash cannon. That does not kill. It did half though. Which is great damage. Um, knock off again. I mean. So I finally get the Weavile in. Weavile is great to go for a flip turn on. Because they want to get the damage. The, their like best play here is doubling into Rotom. If they double into Rotom. That's going to put me in a predicament. I'm just going to have to bring back in Karagano. They probably Volt Switch into Latias, but Latias can't two-hit KO Karagno after looking at the calcs, so I should be alright. Like, they go for Draco, I get off a of freeze-dry, and Karagno is still faster than a lot of their mons. So, okay, so they do just double into Rotom. Oh, into Volk. Okay, that's surprising. I guess they thought I was just gonna stay in and click that again, although knockoff kills me, so there's no reason for me to stay in. This thing could also have Giga Drain. Um, and I don't have Haze. So, to deal with this, I mean, what, do I just drop a Draco with Noivern? Flip turn, flip turn here into Noivern and drop a Draco. Yeah, let's do that. Clever Dance. Locarona. Um, let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> uh, oh, dang it, burn me. No, even. Um, if he has Roost, that'll also be a problem. I mean, what? I could just go into Cryogonal, though, right? Let me see. Cryogonal versus Volk. Ancient Power. That only does 40 to 60. I mean... It's at plus one spadev. Let me see. 
That ain't doing nothing for real, for real. And then at plus one. Yikes. It actually kills me. I'm Scarf Cart. Cart can't really do nothing either. I mean, does Cart knockoff kill? Uh, that does 50. 42 to 50. I think I sacked my cart trying to kill this thing. I mean, we have rolled him to 9, 8, 7. I'm going to just go cart. I'm going to go cart and knock off. Put it in range. Boom. And then I'm going to sack my cart just to try to get this thing out. Hopefully, I could deal with the rest of their team with this. Because what? It's probably Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, um, Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, Giga Drain. Definitely Giga Drain to deal with the Vaporeon. Um, and last move, Bug Buzz. knock here it's gonna do great damage heavy duty boots and they just fiery dance okay that's fine you got the spatak raise now no even i don't know at plus two hopefully no even lives i should be able to kill it um no even versus this thing at plus one. Should be able to kill it with a boom burst. Yeah, boom burst does. Wait, no, no, no. Draco should definitely kill. Um, yeah, let's just drop a Draco. Oh no, he's ruse. Ruse, quiver dance, fiery dance, Giga Dream. I still did mad damage. He could just roost all my thing. Bro. Oh, I, I got rid of the wrong thing. Oh, my God. He sets up on Vaporeon. Oh, my goodness. I... I guess I guess it's a GG. I like I <laughs> like I'm looking at my team. I'm looking at this book around. I'm like, yo, how do I even deal with this? Uh, I guess I was supposed to deal with it with the ancient power guy. So what what would he have on the Volcarona? Like why? Mm. I dang him being faster than Noivern is sucks. Od. I guess I just scalded it. But then he's gonna bust out a Giga Drain. That means that it can't touch Rotom, but Rotom is actually mad low. I mean, what? He's at plus three special attack now. I mean, it, it don't even matter. And I don't have Haze on this thing. Scald. Yeah, I don't have any way to deal with this thing, actually. I mean, what? I could wish flip into. Nah, I can't even. I can't even go reboot. Reboot isn't gonna kill this thing in one. Hey yo, I'm gonna just flip turn here. Giga drain, yeah. Okay, so. Yo, it really does suck that that Rotom is. That chip on the Rotom mattered so much. But, I mean, I couldn't even kill it anyways. Like, looking at it. Oh, wait. I forgot. I had trick on Rotom. I was supposed to I was supposed to trick it a scarf. Hey, yo. That wasn't what I was supposed to do. Uh, Sack my whole team. I mean, I think it's a little too late, though. Fiery Dance probably just kills us. I have plus three. I don't have any Spadev. Yeah. Fiery Dance just sweeps here. Dang, dealing with Volcarona. I'm like trying to think. I guess if I had Haze on the Vaporeon, 
that would have been better because after one quiver dance like what well, he got quiver dance off on in front of the porion and it was kind of just gg fiery dance yeah that probably just goes oh we live on 16 but i mean after one draco was just gonna roost and then he's also at like what plus two special defense Yeah, look at that. Dang. Mm. Yeah, what? Yeah. Ain't ain't nothing else to say. Like <laughs> I was just like, damn. Like I'm really thinking like how I could have gotten out of that, but not with the team I brought. Uh, what? Just suck a punch. Like I don't even know if he had to thunder wave the reboot. Like he was honestly just waiting for a turn to bring this this guy in and do what he had to do. Right, and then Cryogon is most likely gonna die to a fiery dance. So, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you're new. That's UPB8, uh, what week four? That's gonna drop me to two and two. Got swept by the vault, by the get swept by the Rona. Oh, nah, chill. Like, I had ancient power, but like, looking at the calcs, like, ancient power really did nothing to this thing. Freaking fire bug, bro. All right, guys, peace.